opponent would like to do all kinds of things to black students. He would like to punish them, humiliate them, hurt them, silence them, suspend them, expel them. He'd like to do pretty much anything but teach them. And that has been the theme in Madison in education, is how do we blame black children, how do we hurt black children, how do we get rid of black children, how do we not listen to black children. We have a lot of people who are afraid to have real conversations about race, but this is not something that's new. We are a society that have always thought black children are unfit for education and freedom. We're a society that enslaved black children, and we have to reconcile that in order to address the achievement gap. Now, one of the reasons I'm running for school board is because when I was five years old, I had a teacher who asked me to spell every word I knew how to spell. I was so excited spelled the days of the week and my sibling's name, and she came over and did not acknowledge a single word I'd spelled correctly. She looked at me and she said, Ali, I have a brother named Wally too, that's not how you spell your brother's name. And I said, yes it is, call my mom. I was very excited, first time a teacher ever called my mom, it was also the first time in my life I was sure I was right, and I was sure an adult was wrong, so I told myself, when she comes over here to apologize, I'm gonna tell her, it's okay, we all make mistakes. And so she comes over to me and she says, Ali, I'm so sorry. Nobody in your whole family can spell. That is not going to show up on a spreadsheet. And that is not about my behavior. That is about people believing that difference is a dilemma. And it isn't. It's essential to our survival as a species. We are diverse because we have the capacity to adapt. And that's what we need to do. Would anyone like to um, well, use their hand? Well, considering in three seconds, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 yeah, so um, you only get one rebuttal, right? So any of the other candidates like to use a rebuttal? Yeah, okay, so we'll move on to our last question. Then. So, throughout your campaign, several candidates have proposed shifting decision-making power in the school system. First, who do you believe should make decisions about school safety policy? And second, how will you ensure that black youth and other youth of color, parents, and community members have decision-making power over safety in MMSD schools? I'll read them one more time. So throughout your campaigns, several candidates have proposed shifting decision-making power in the school system. First, who do you believe should make decisions about school safety policy? And second, how will you ensure that black youth and other youth of color, parents and community members have decision-making power over safety in MMSD schools? Thank you very much. And, uh... I just want to say, Ali, uh, I'm sure that you can spell, and here's a word for you to spell, hyperbole. Um, you know, I, this idea that I want black children to fail, how does that help David Gaskin? How does that help anyone? I want everyone in the town to have a good job, a nice green lawn, kids that they can be proud of, that are healthy, that compete in sports, that achieve in academics, that contribute to the community that I'd be proud to know. Why would I want anyone to fail? That is such an irresponsible charge. Now, what Ali and also what Ananda particularly are saying here today is so destructive, it is so bad, it is why we have a racial achievement gap. Because the overwhelming message here is, son, daughter, you are a victim. You're a victim, and you can't succeed in this system until we reform it somehow, some way, by electing Ali Modral. Well, you know what? That kid's gonna is gonna because a victim has no control. There's no agency. They can't you can't say you build, you create your own future. You're in a middle school here, you're 11, 12, and 13 years old. You've got your whole life ahead of you. You've got something called education. And in this society, that is the biggest tool of all. And yes, if you need a little more help, if you've got to work a little harder, I will say this, listen to your teacher. You might learn something. Now I would like to hear everyone at this table say, kids, listen to your teacher. Quit making excuses. Quit screwing up. 
because no positive behavior coach in the world in this school district is going to help you because they have been thrown under the bus already by this administration, by this school board, because you're a victim. So you're a failure right now, and you're never going to succeed because you're a victim. I'm tired of it. <laughs>